Fellow Drops fans and coffee lovers everywhere, we have an experimental processed Panamagesha from Black and White that we are dropping today. Let's get into it. Hello fellow Drops fans, coffee lovers everywhere. My name is Haley. I am your local resident Q grader coming at you live from the once pink but now gray room studio at Fellows Storefront and Playground in San Francisco. Here to talk to you about Black and White's wonderful Ruben Vega dynamic cherry that we are dropping today. It is a Panama Gesha. Um, it is experimental processed at that and it is just the super, super unique, very one of a kind, a ton of fruit punch in the cup, really clean, and all of that Gesha tactile that you, you know and love. Um, but before I get into more of why this coffee is so delicious and so wonderful, I'm going to tell you how I am brewing it. So I am using 21.5 grams of coffee in to 350 grams out. So a little bit different ratio I'm using today. Um, than I normally use, right? So a little bit lighter on the dose. Usually I'm at 22 grams, but I took 0.5 grams off um, for 21.5. I'm brewing at 203 degrees Fahrenheit, so a little bit cooler um, than my standard 205 degrees. Um, I bloomed at 50 grams for 40 seconds or about 40 seconds, let it go a little bit long and I broke bloom at 50 seconds, poured up to 150 grams, now I'm pouring up to 250, and then I will finish at 350 grams with 10 or so swirls of agitation at the end to just pull the slightest bit out. Um, I ground at 6.1 on Ode with SSP, which is about a 5.1 Ode Gen 2 and about a 4.1 Ode Gen 1. So I would stick to right around the middle of the pour over range on Opus. Again, I am working on getting those Opus grind settings dialed into uh, the broader brew guide. So thank you for being patient with me as I work those in. All right, I'm gonna go up to my last, I'm gonna do my last pour up to 350 grams here, making sure not to over pour. And once the water level drops enough to where I'm not going to splash over the sides, I'll give it 10 gentle swirls of my Stag X dripper to agitate a little bit. And for experimental coffees, I tend to lean on the medium coarser kind of end of the spectrum with grind setting um, and then gentle on the agitation, but some agitation. So coarser grind setting, some agitation, generally for experimental coffees, but of course, every experimental coffee is not the same as the other experimental coffees. Um, this one, for instance, is red fruit, uh, red fruit punch, uh, cherries, lots of pink florals, just supporting um, a sparkling acidity, a round body that's like super, super balanced and sweet, and just really even, really clean. Ruben Vega, who produced this coffee, throws the coffee cherries into blue tanks with like air traps um, into those tanks for 96 hours. So the gases that are produced while fermentation is happening can escape and allow for other like preferable flavors to develop. Um, it's really, really cool. Ruben definitely knows what he's doing because this cup is fantastic and black and white, an excellent roaster for an excellent coffee. Um, thank you so much to our friends at Black and White for bringing this coffee to us. We love it and we know you will love it, Fellow Drops fans. As always, it is easy to order from Fellow Drops. All you have to do is text us back the number of bags that you would want, one, two, three, five. You're going to want a lot of bags of this, although it is pretty exclusive, so you'll want to jump on this while you can. If you don't want any coffee this week, though, just don't text us back and we won't send you any unnecessary coffee or charge you. We'll just text you next week with another wonderfully curated selection. Thank you so much for joining me this week. Um, I also want to extend thank you again to Black and White for bringing us this delicious coffee. 
And I want to say, just on a side note, before I get out of here, a very big thank you to Yellow Stuff for bringing me this apron. Thank you so much, friends. I really appreciate it. Y'all, go check out Yellow Stuff. This apron is the highest quality apron I've ever held, let alone owned. Um, so thank you so much. And thanks, y'all, for being here. Enjoy the coffee, and I will see you next week for the next Brew Guide video.